Kilimanjaro is 20,000 feet high. Yeah. To get nauseous, have diarrhea, be very, very sick. And all of those things happen to Danielle. Show me, show me how you kiss. Don't you kiss him? Just a little. Just a little. To tell him about my booty? Uh, yeah. I... She was a jolly baby. <laughs> we still call her fat I do not want to date your daughter. What's up, my big butted babies? It's your boy, Big Baddie, and I am for once sitting on the couch and also eating breakfast. So, pardon the ASMR. Tell him I don't just like classical music. Today's video is a doozy. I found it yesterday. People have been messaging me about it. Clearly, I didn't really understand what they were saying. Most of them were like, date my mom. And I'm like, ew, why? Then I realized that was a show. <laughs> so in the mid 2000s, MTV went on this magical run of like just weird shows that seemed to captivate an audience. They had MTV's Next, Room Raiders, and a host of other shows, including like Jackass and things like that, that people just seemed to love in the mid 2000s. As well as that, MTV, of course, stands for My Titty Videos. <laughs> music television and Eminem was like the biggest thing out at the time and he was just carrying MTV. It had a huge new fan base for people who were like in their teens to mid 20s I'd say. And people loved the shows that they created because it seemed to resonate with the audience I guess. But now looking back on it it's like what the hell were people smoking? I don't get it at all. Every single premise in the mid 2000s on MTV sounds like it was conceived after smoking a bag of weed. The acting on every show seems so fake. The contestants feel like they're out of this planet. They seem like caricatures. And the show that seems to personify all of this is MTV's Date My Mom, a show where the male contestant dates three people's mothers and he doesn't see their daughter so he doesn't know what their daughter looks like but by dating their mothers he has to decide which one of their daughters he wants to bang i don't know who came up with that concept but whoever did obviously was searching for stepmom in the porno section and uh today i just want to take a look at that so i hope you don't mind me eating as well <laughs> it's a little homely it's a little cozy video uh get snug get comfy and we're about to take off into this one and just one more thing before we start hey guys 16 leo here if you've watched my channel for a while you've probably seen today's sponsor talked about a few times i want to thank my good friends at expressvpn for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video a vpn or virtual private network allows your data to travel safely by encrypting it in other words it keeps your information private. Not using a VPN is kind of like being on a crowded bus and getting a call from your doctor who tells you you have hemorrhoids. Except the call is not a private call. He puts it on speakerphone somehow, but he also puts a megaphone through the speakerphone. Now everybody and their mama can hear that you have hemorrhoids. Do you really want that information to get out? What I'm saying is that everybody hears your private information, which is not great. ExpressVPN is also really easy to use. Like, really easy to use. All you have to do is open up the app and press connect. But ExpressVPN does more than just protect you and your data. It protects you from hackers, it unlocks geo-restricted websites, and finds you better deals on flights, which is a feature I really hope to use someday very soon. And in my opinion, most importantly, it allows you to unblock normally blocked content in your country. So a show that I absolutely love is Mike Tyson Mysteries. And the problem is you cannot find it anywhere on Netflix in New Zealand. So all I have to do with ExpressVPN is change my server and hit connect. It's as easy as that. And that way I can finally watch Mike Tyson say the craziest things. I seriously use ExpressVPN all the time. And if you want to try it out, find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com 16leo or clicking the link in my description below. Thanks again, ExpressVPN. You see that half S at the top of your screen? That stands for half a Scorpio, which is what I am. Is that true? Hell no. But because I fooled you, you have to subscribe. Also, follow me at 16leo underscore on Instagram. That way you can give me ideas like this. Thank you so much to the people who recommended the show. It is bat crazy and I don't know how you guys know about this, but thank you so much. All right, let's get straight into the video. I'm a UCLA music major and I love to sing. And I got all my musical talents from my mother. From <laughs> What the fuck did I just listen to? Was that the Migos? Who, who, who the hell was that? Damn, you guys have some mad skill at deafening people. What is that? Oh my god, it's MTV. At least hold the note correctly. Then the last 
Okay, you don't need to wake my dog up. There's no way this guy's not going to choose my mom after he goes out with her because she's so fun and so cute and they're just going to have a great time. Just by the way, the video I found is kind of weird because it starts us off in the middle. I don't know who the hell this guy is. I don't know who the mom is. I don't know who the daughter is. And then halfway through the video, this guy gets ditched and there's just a new guy looking for a different set of people. So just bear with me. MTV, again, has sort of no structure, just like they do now. I'm a little nervous to meet the first mom. Hey, mommy, have a great time today, but don't embarrass me. I'll do that. <laughs> Again, the premise of this whole show, someone takes someone's mom out on a date. By taking the mom out on the date, they then sort of figure out who the daughter is. Not the worst premise, but it's a little bit like freaky. That would be like me liking a girl and then trying to um, caress her dad. <laughs> It would be a freaky show if it was the opposite way around, wouldn't it? Like, if the girls had to take uh, the dude's father out. Because I think there would be a lot of fathers who are way too eager to do this. My son would really like you, but he'd like you even more uh, if you wear that bikini top. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Did I tell you I'm recently divorced? Oh, oh, oh. I could see this being very problematic. Hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm Steven. Marilyn looks like the cute soccer mom next door. I hope her daughter's just like her. So, what's your daughter's name? Danielle. And how old is she? She's 21. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't know how old she is? Oh, MTV, this is a very old show. How old's your daughter? 15? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go out with her and then uh, proceed to get arrested, I guess. Thanks, MTV. How old is she? What's her name? This dude really does know nothing about it. This is not only a blind date. It's also dating someone's mother and then going on a blind date. What if the mom is really hot and the daughter isn't? Then what do you do? Well, can we do a swapsies? I did want to date the mom. Who actually came up with this concept? You don't even get to see a picture. Describe your daughter for me. Is she sexy? Yeah, I would say so. She, she got a nice butt? Yep. Nice titties? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Is she, sec is, is she really sexual in she bed? She will suck you dry. How, how do we get this information from the mother? Does Danielle look anything like you? Does Danielle look anything like Danielle? I would say 36, 26, 36. Nice. Damn, she knows her daughter's measurements. That's, that's kind of weird. That's freaky. How's your daughter looking? 36 double D. Slim waist, fat ass, baby. As soon as I had her, I was like, damn, girl, you either going to be an accountant or a porn star. And I don't mind which one it is. I'm her mom, by the way. Mm, freaky. Very freaky. Also, I love the sound effects from that last. That's real 2000s MTV. There's too much Taekwondo for one day. Tell me more about Danielle. Two summers ago, she climbed Kilimanjaro. Oh, wow. But the climb was particularly hard. Kilimanjaro right. is 20,000 feet high. Yeah. And if you try to acclimatize... So tell me what your daughter does. And then she starts going on this tangent on Kilimanjaro. Um, she climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is famous for being a mountain that is very high. It's actually 20,000 feet high. 200,000 feet if you count it incorrectly. Yeah, okay, I don't know. You have to wear like boots when you climb it or you will get frostbite and die. My daughter nearly died on Mount Kilimanjaro, but she survived. Therefore, it makes her a hero. My mountain. Mountain. She just came with Kilimanjaro facts. I is your daughter a good kisser? I don't know. But I'll tell you what I do know, Mount Kilimanjaro has more than three people living on it. <laughs> Is that true? I don't think so. I haven't verified that fact. Acclimatize in five days, you're very likely to get nauseous, have diarrhea, be very, very sick. And all of those things happened to Danielle. Did Marilyn just say diarrhea? And you know what else happened on Mount Kilimanjaro? My daughter shit herself on the mountain. There's a brown stain at the top. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why you throw your daughter under the bus? This is some sabotage type beat. Just sitting there like, oh yeah, my daughter, she shits herself every day. She's a habitual shitter. I, on the other hand, know how to control my bowels. So if you want to date me, Ashante. So then the mom goes and tells her that she said that she had diarrhea and also is into unicorns. And I think MTV just decided to scrap this episode. They were like, holy shit, we didn't think it was going to go that badly. And 
we never hear from Steven or the mom or anyone again. There's just now a new guy. I think his name is Clint or something. And he comes and he starts dating other people's moms. But this is where the episode gets real serious. Yeah. Until now, she's like this in it now. Oh. <laughs> oh. But why? I love that MTV is sort of like a time capsule. Because where else in 2021 would you find a guy like that? Like a loud, obnoxious voice, has a soul patch, but no mustache. So he looks like he just missed really badly when he's shaving and shaggy hair. You don't find people like that anymore. They don't exist. They died from um, self-awareness. And this dude is like, what are you talking about? He's got that voice. People actually had that voice in the mid 2000s. How are you doing? Nice to meet your daughter. If she's crazy and I'm crazy, we're gonna have a good night. I hate myself and I cannot wait to die. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we still call her Patsy. I think the big question here is, but why? Marcy, I had an incredible mullet hunt with you today. It was awesome. You were awesome. Marcy, I had an incredible mullet hunt. Cut. We only have one take? I have to use that. Marcy, I had an incredible hunt with you today. Sorry, the shrooms are kicking in. <clears throat> Imagine calling your daughter fat so. That's, I mean, that's pretty cute. It's actually, you gotta have a lot of confidence to call your daughter fat so and still think you're gonna win this competition. Hi, fat so, I'm home. <laughs> what did you do today? We did mullet hunting. And I told him, your nickname is fat so. That's a hell of a nickname to call your daughter, honestly. <laughs> hey, fat so, I'm home. Hey, fat ass, I'm back. Hey, fat idiot, I'm back. Mom, it's fat so. Hey, fat dumbass, I'm back. And I have a mullet now. What do you think about that? If I have kids, which I hope to do, I'm easily going to call one a uh, stupid head. I'm gonna call one booby bop and I'm gonna call another one the finisher. And I'm gonna call my wife coconut head. And she's gonna call me pea brain. Love the family dynamic. <laughs> Sounds like you freaked him out. Do you think we won? I know we won. Why does everybody in the 2000s talk like that? Sounds like you freaked him out. Do you think we won? Everything they say sounds like a role-playing game. It's like encouraging you to say something. I would feel so weird if everybody talked to me like that. Hi friend, it's me, your other friend. What should we do today? Oh, that sounds like a great idea, but I'm feeling sick. <coughs> I think I have a fatal disease. Wanna kiss? <laughs> I don't know why people talk like that back then, but it freaks me out. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm 58. I'm Tanil and I'm 20. I'm single, so I think we're gonna win. Why are they screaming? They're like right there. I think we're gonna win! Okay, alright mom, alright. I know it's not a library, but you don't have to scream. Hey mom, I want you to definitely check out his feet. Hmm, okay. If they got funky feet, they got a funky ass. <laughs> alright. I'm gonna try and erase that one from my memory. And uh, if they say it again, I'm going to press charges. Check out his neck. That's how you'll know if he's good at sex. Check out his nuts. That's how you know how hard he sucks. I don't know where you got this information from. Hell of misleading. Give him a little sample of the booty shake. <laughs> Throw me hell. Put your hands on my hips. Sit down. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's easy. Imagine walking into a house and seeing someone's mom grinding up on their daughter. Do you just leave at that point and you're like, wow, this is... Too much like Resident Evil. Say I was on the show and a girl was like, date my dad or whatever. And then you see me and my dad sitting around talking about like, hey bro, I, you know, I do this and that. And then before the show starts, I'm just like, hey dad, bring your hips here. Is it, is it not the freakiest thing you've ever seen in your life? I'm not sure if this is normal. These are people who have a very close relationship with their parents. Hey mom, are you ready? I'm ready. Now you just need to show me how to kiss him goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do one for good luck. Okay. I guess uh, it's different for everyone. I don't kiss my parents on the lips because I'm not trying to date them. You know, I guess uh, people are real close and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. I don't know because she's like mid-twenties and this other lady's 58. Maybe a handshake would do. Julie? Julie, I'm Clint. It's a pleasure to meet you. I don't care if Julie's lips and boobs are real. I just hope her daughter has them. I don't care if Julie's lips and hips and tits and shits are real. I just want to know if her daughter is also sexy. I'm Clint and I'm unemployed, but somehow I get to pick the girl I want to go home with. <laughs> Julie, what's your daughter's name? Tenille. Who would you say Tenille most resembles? You? Yeah, that's what people tell her. How the fuck was she supposed to answer that? If Clint was like, oh, who does she most resemble? And Julie's like her dad. What frame of reference do you now have? 
You haven't seen her dad. Now you just think of any man and be like, oh, oh my God. Why does she look like Samuel L. Jackson? How is she supposed to answer that, bro? You have a beautiful smile, good eyes. Well, thanks. Does Appreciate she... that. If Tania looks like mom, then she must be the <laughs> bomb. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> just, <laughs> just pick the time and just cuss everyone out. If she looks like her mom, she's a <laughs> motherfucking bitch ass pussy. Motherfucking hot shit. Titty girl. We're gonna have to censor all of that just okay. by the way. Okay, okay, sounds about right. She's been known to get on a table or two and shake her booty. What do you mean by shake your booty? <laughs> okay, work it. Woo! <laughs> Never done this before. Too close, too close for comfort. This is actually date my mom at this point. This is not just date my mom. This is a uh, come get laid with my mom and then tell the daughter about it moment. There's gotta be something you're hiding. Mm. She picks at her face. That's disgusting, but I love it because I do the exact same thing. That is so unhygienic. Thank God I'm a human pig, so I'm into it. All right, dude. I don't know if you should be that enthusiastic about it, but sure. Do you think Tennille's a good kisser? She's been teaching me. How are you going to ask someone's mom that, bro? Hey, hey, Mrs. Hey, Mrs. Jones. Is your daughter good at uh, giving, slipping the people the tongue? Is she, uh, is she good at that? What if her mom is like, yeah, she's a great kisser. How does she know this? If someone asks her dad, like, oh, is she a good kisser? And her dad said, hell, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would that not be a very concerning moment in, in history or society? She's been teaching me. <laughs> she teaches you how to kiss? Okay, well... She teaches the mom how to kiss. She teaches the mom how to kiss. Practicing kissing, mom and daughter. This sounds like something I would see on a certain website that I use incognito mode to go on and delete my history every day, eight times a day, 12 times a day, every five minutes. I have no control, I need to go to rehab. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a lot of things, but not that. I'd rather go to rehab for watching too much of dank shit. What do you guys do? How do you uh, practice? Okay, give me your hand. It's like this. That was horrible. That was horrible? Oh, just give me a hand, Clint. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm in a data right now. Can you guys practice on your hands? Well, no. Show me, show me how you kiss. Ready? I'm ready. One more. <laughs> Sure, good one. You kissed a 58-year-old woman, you got a good story to tell. This is fully one of those situations. They're gonna go out on a date, and Julie's gonna be like in a robe, and then uh, Clint's gonna show up to the door, and Julie's gonna be like, oops, guess I'm naked. And they're gonna have a threesome. But it's gonna be like weird because that's a biological mother. Nobody of the pornos is related. I hope not. Uh, do they have an Alabama section for porno? I don't know. Now her daughter's gonna kiss him and it's like, oh, we kissed the same dude. This is really creepy. MTV, why you do this? So then he takes Julie home and Julie talks to her daughter and she also confesses that she might have uh, made out with her daughter's potential boyfriend. It was so fun. Somehow it came up about how you teach me how to kiss. <laughs> you kissed him? Mom. Just a little. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Hell no. Julie be kissing whoever she wants. This is my house. I tongue down whoever I want. He took me on a date. Cause I'm, Cause I'm a real, real bitch. Hi, I'm Diane. I'm 48. Hi, I'm April and I'm 22. All right, mom, you ready to show them a good time? Bet your cute little sweet ass I am. Stop, stop, stop ass tapping your daughter. This is highly inappropriate. I don't care if you're the same gender. I'm not gonna have a son and be like, there you go, little Leo. It's up your ass, buddy. Nice ass, homie. That's my son with the nicest booty around. Stop, stop. <laughs> I am ready to rock. <laughs> All right, don't forget to tell him about the booty. Okay, mom, don't forget to tell him about my asshole. Tell him I can spread these cheeks and make a clap like an audience. Mom, tell him I have no dignity. I will do anything on a first date. <sighs> MTV. How are you? I'm excellent. I'm Clint. I'm Diane. What are we doing today? Today we're going to go help out Habitat for Humanity. We're going to help build a home. That was actually very sweet. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, Clint. <laughs> I like that. Diane, what's your daughter's name? My daughter's name is April. April? Nice. How'd you come up with that? Well, she was born in April, so that was pretty easy. My daughter was born in the back of a, a Jeep, so we named her Mistake. What a great original story. More original than the KFC secret herbs and spices. Oh, you look awesome. How do I look? 
pretty hot. Are you ready to hold my wood I for me? I am ready to hold your wood. I think Diane has pretty good experience handling tools. I think Diane is a sexual freak, and I want to date her daughter. But every time I look at her, I think in the back of my mind, what could have been? Diane, leave your man for me. I, I just find you so sexy, and you're such a beautiful woman. Yeah, I'll go out with your daughter, but I'll be thinking about you the whole time. MTV, date my mom. I fell in love. <laughs> what is April's dating life? She dates a lot. Yeah. Bad boy, pretty boy, play in the field. April's either pretty, slutty, or pretty slutty. What she fucks everyone. She's just, uh, every day I come back, she's fucking, 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 fucking. I know you guys are gonna have to censor all of that, but that's what my daughter does. Fucking and sucking, fucking and sucking. She's a straight savage, so you better get in quick. Or you might not get this dick. Uh, that she came up with that, not me. I like Bush. She likes Bush. Uh, but you know. Like Wait a second. Did you bring up any politics? I told him you were conservative. Okay. Did like Bush. He said he likes Bush too. That's awesome. So he's not a whiny little liberal. He said he likes Bush. He's from the 2000s. He doesn't know what Bush means. I mean, he knows what it means, but it's a different kind of Bush. And she doesn't know that he knows that it's that Bush. So. I can see some complications happening, is what I'm saying. What bush is it? I'm kidding. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in. No! I'm leaving that no! in. No! Okay, so at the end of it, he meets up with the three moms that he dated, and he has to pick which mom that he likes the most, and then he gets to see the daughter for the very first time, which is so weird. This is also like a weird 2000s thing. They just go to some beach and just stand there. I don't know, like it looks really like a cult at this point. I don't know why they did that, but this is the 2000s for you. These three moms are so sweet. There's only one daughter I want to taste. It's time to saddle up and pick a daughter. Woohoo! <laughs> they didn't give him a script, that's why. So he could just say shit like that and they're like, ah, oh, okay. He just says weird shit because he has a soul patch and he's wearing like a button up with a shirt underneath. This is 2000s at its peak. Just a dude in a vomit looking shirt just hitting on people's moms. This is 2000s. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Diane, when you first told me that April liked Bush, I was really excited. Till I realized it was George W. Bush. I do not want to date your daughter. I don't know the difference, but meet my beautiful daughter, April. Come on, this is the 70s when she grew up. She knows the difference. There was no way this person was like, I like Bush and didn't see anything wrong with that. So I think at the end of this, they get to see what the daughter looks like. So he's like, I don't want to date your daughter. And then he sees what she looks like. So he's either going to be pissed off or really happy that he dodged a bullet. Marcy, I'm sorry, I do not want to date your daughter. Oh shoot! So he's like, ah, oh, I don't want to date your fat daughter, fatso. And then she comes out and that's sad. I like that one the best. That mom seemed to be the nicest. But anyway, I guess he has to pick the one that he made out with, so. Julie, at first I was creeped out that you and Tennille were a little too close. And even Clint is like, at first I was kind of creeped out. You guys were kissing when I walked in. That's kind of freaky. But after the fun date that we had, I do want to date your daughter. But then I was like, I'm into it. So I guess he chose her. <laughs> That's a lie. He just knew it from the beginning. Ooh, glad I could kiss you again. And maybe you should, mom. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that was going to be the case. He kissed her and he was like, I knew from the start of me kissing you that your daughter was going to be a good kisser too. Meet my gorgeous daughter, Tennille. She's beautiful. Just a little kiss before a hug. That's a bit coming on a little too strong, just like the mom. But all right, that's a kissing family. Very weird. Very weird. It looks like they ran off into the sunset only because the mom couldn't keep up. <laughs> like she, she wanted to run and just couldn't keep up. And they're like, let's get away as fast as we can. She's going to kiss us. So <laughs> that was weird. What'd you think when you saw me? I thought you were so beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, this is like what me and your mom were doing, dancing like white people. <laughs> that's something you don't want to hear at the end of like any date. That's what me and your mom were doing. And that's that's how the episode ends. They grind on each other because that's MTV and 
You have to end every episode with grinding on someone. Yep. So that was a date. My mom. A very weird, crazy show from the two thousands. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. Do you like this show? What was your favorite MTV show? This is weird. This is creepy. But if you want to see more and you have any links, let me know. Because it's actually hard to find this. I think it's on the deep dark web. Definitely. But I don't know if it's anywhere in public. Well, that is the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching it. I appreciate you watching the video. I will see you on the next one. And until then, uh, take care of yourselves. And fluffs is way too high to reach right now. I don't mean f but I do. She ain't even got a ass. She did a dash and bit a lash. You know a dash and she